Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris, and today we're bringing you Major League Baseball's 2020 predictions to make the playoffs. Now, to give you a little background on the method to our madness, we took about 15 measuring points, fielding, hitting, pitching, starting rotation, bullpen, speed of a team, schedule on many different levels, strength of schedule, down the stretch, and also strength of schedule versus winning and losing teams. But mainly what we're looking at is with the 60-game schedule, we think it's a sprint. We think it's anybody's game. Now we're going to start with the lock teams. These are the teams that we pretty much are guaranteed going to make the playoffs. Obviously, we're going to pick the Los Angeles Dodgers. Super loaded, top to bottom, very balanced with veterans, new players, talent all over. And it's not even a question of Clayton Kershaw being good. He's going to be there in the end. But their bullpen and starting rotation is really good. Their schedule works to their advantage. They're just a strong team overall and will definitely be there. Now the next lock team we're predicting is the New York Yankees. They are a solid team from top to bottom. We think that this is definitely the year they put it all together. Only question is, can Stanton and Judge stay healthy for 60 games? Their schedule down the stretch works to their advantage. Um, they've got great starting rotation, hitting, bullpen. There's no reason why they're not going to take it easily in this division. The next set of teams are teams that are on the fence. They need to have things happen a certain way to make it successful, and we go with the Mets. Kendrick Grom continue to be dominant. Can Cano go back to form? Will Polo Bear put up big numbers? They've got a good rotation and a good bullpen, but the strength of their schedule could hurt them down the stretch. Next team is the Cleveland Indians. They've got a good rotation, but their bullpen's in question. The strength of their schedule works to their advantage. Is this a year for Cleveland? Can they put it all together? Again, the bullpen is my big question mark with this team. Next team is the Atlanta Braves, and the Braves are an exciting team. They always seem to be in it. they got a good rotation, good hitting, Good bullpen is the one thing that's going to keep him in it. Their schedule's pretty decent, but I think one of the main question marks is can Acuna continue to put up big numbers? And also, Freddie Freeman. As of this posting, it looks like things are not going that well with him with Corona, so hopefully he can get back in the lineup because they're going to definitely need his bat and his leadership. Next team is the San Diego Padres. Is this finally the year? All these years of having one of the best minor leagues, putting all this talent together, all these trades. Is this the year? They got a good rotation. They got a solid bullpen. And their schedule down the stretch works to their advantage. They are super talented. But again, is this the year they put it together? They've got a battle with Los Angeles, which is the big question mark. Can they take on LA throughout the 60-game schedule and make it happen? We'll have to wait and see. Next teams and subject is gambles. These are teams that I'm not 100%, but why not? Why can't they have a good year? St. Louis Cardinals, they tend to always be there, but Yadier is getting older. Wainwright's getting older. This team has a lot of question marks and strength, but they still tend to have a good rotation. It's just a question if their bullpen will be able to keep them in games. Next gamble team is the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. You know, they've got some decent hitting. They've got great rotation, strong bullpen. They didn't need Snell last year in order to be successful, but can the team with the lowest payroll in baseball in 2019 repeat the performance they had? Let's see. Next team, Houston Astros. Yes, they can hit, but they lost Cole. Is Verlander going to return to 2019 form? They have a very tough schedule down the stretch. Is this going to be the year they fall out? Next team, Philadelphia Phillies. Hey, through 60 games last year, they were a playoff contending team. Can they do the same this year? Big question mark is pitching and bullpen. But Philadelphia's been putting together a contending team for years, especially with signing Bryce Harper. Can this be the year they put it together? And finally, my last team will be the Cincinnati Reds. This is my wild card team. Why not? During the 60-game schedule, I think there's going to be some surprise clubs, and this is my pick. They've got hitting. Question mark. Is their bullpen? Can Bauer return to form? Will this be the year? Thank you for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.